welcome back to my youtube channel today is thursday and i'm taking you guys to the hospital with me for cardiology i felt like since i showed you um in my last hospital vlog about i told you guys my experience in cardiology and the beginning part was not so good i felt that since, since things have gotten better i owe it to you guys to also come show you and let you in on the improvements that have gone on for you know the previous week and this week this is my last week in cardiology and tomorrow will be my last day so i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe and share and i'll see you in the hospital Unfortunately, my doctor has a class So I can't shadow her today So I'm going to the sixth floor, which is another cardiology department to look for any other Foreign students or any of my classmates in cardiology to join them today and Then I'll update you guys what I'll update you guys what happens then minutes to 12 I left the hospital at 11 o'clock usually we stay in the hospital from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and then break time is by 11 30 and work resumes by 1 o'clock but we only do 8 to 11 that's because usually in the afternoon it's just paperwork and writing cases so the doctors don't really need us there but if there's any special procedure your doctor can call you and tell you you need to come in or maybe you're in a department that like is busy like almost the 12 hours then you may have to come back in the afternoon well it just depends on your department so i ended up going to respiratory i know i'm in cardiology but most of the doctors were busy or having classes so i ended up going to respiratory and today was a very exciting day we got to see a foreign student who was actually a patient and so we we're able to take his history discuss his symptoms um, also contribute towards the drugs that were given to him and you know because the teacher's english is not so good and we were able to translate what the patient was saying to the doctor and it was a very interesting case and a very good opportunity to learn because it's not common to see foreign patients so it was a very very good opportunity and we stayed there till 11 o'clock till the last until the patient was stable and it felt really good so right now I'm going to go have lunch and I'll see you guys later hey guys today is friday i just finished cardiology and i'm so excited i just got my logbook signed i need to go submit this patient case report we are supposed to write a case and submit to one of the doctors for every department we rotate and also this is my logbook i just got it signed let me show you guys these are the cardiology diseases and has been signed has been signed and EKG has been signed today we got to do ECG for about six different patients unsupervised the, the doctor just told us to go to these patient rooms and do their ECGs so we did that we also took blood pressure of some patients and asked for and asked some patients questions histories and yeah i mean the 
first week of this department was not like this. I mean, the doctor really had time, but now she's more open. She just sends us out to patients on her own. And that's all for cardiology. Today, if you're wondering if foreigners, if foreign medical students in China get to touch patients, I would say the answer is yes, but that depends on you. The doctor is not going to allow a, a serious student or a student that doesn't know anything about maybe the case or the disease to touch the patient. So it depends. If you if you always show interest. If you study, if they ask you questions and you can answer the questions, then you'll be given the opportunity to touch patients. I went into one of the VIP um, rooms yesterday to um, do the ECG for a VIP patient and the family members were all there. They were also interactive, they were even telling their father like, oh, foreign students are here to come and you know do your ECG. They were also excited. So, and like these Chinese family members already know how this ECG is done. They already know how blood pressure is done. Like so if you come there as a student trying to you know check on their family member and they see what you're doing is wrong. Okay, they are not really going to want you to touch their family member. So it all depends. As long as you know what you're doing you're very much interested you're going to get every opportunity possible to touch patients so don't worry about that yesterday i tried to get i went to the respiratory department because i wanted to get assigned to the same doctor that i have been seeing while i've been sneaking into respiratory and i got that done so from monday i'll be starting respiratory and i am so excited for this department because for the few days I have gone there, I have gotten to learn about a lot of diseases. I've gotten to see some procedures, meet patients and interact. And the doctor I have been following has been so helpful. There's also a Chinese medical student that's also rotating with her. The Chinese medical student, the Chinese medical student has also been very, very helpful towards me and the doctor has also been helpful to me. So I'm excited for respiratory. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.